You all remember the house in Back to the Future 2 and all the smart home stuff it had? That house was so awesome and futuristic back in the day. And I was wondering, how close is my home to the McFly house? I'm gonna break down seven different smart home things that they used in the movie and show you what's possible today. And if you wanna see more info on like how to set things up, I'll link everything down in an article in the description. Also, we just passed 100,000 subscribers and I can't even wrap my head around that number. Two years ago, we had about 300 subscribers, which is crazy to think about. I'm really grateful to all of you who subscribed and supported the channel. You guys are amazing and I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. All right, let's get back to the future video. In the movie, they have traveled into the future to the year 2015. And one of the first things that you see at their home is a door that opens up with your fingerprint. Wait, made by AT&T? All right. We've had locks that you can open up with codes for some time now, but now there's smart locks that can use your fingerprint to open up, which is pretty awesome. This smart lock is from Utech, and it's a compact little deadbolt. You can use the numbers to open it. There's also a hidden key lock behind it, but the best part is, is the fingerprint reader. It doesn't have the flashy light scanner like on Back to the Future 2, but it's slightly faster at reading fingerprints than the McFly home. You can connect your phone to it using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi using their bridge. If you want to know more about this lock, I'll talk about it in the article with more info. After they unlock the front door, look at the size of that front door camera. That thing is so big and it takes up almost the entire side of the front door frame. Can you imagine if the ring doorbell was about that big? Today we have so many options to choose from for a front porch camera, like Arlo, Ring, and even Wise Cams. The voice assistant welcomes Jennifer home, Welcome home oh. Jennifer. and turns on the lights when she uses her voice command. You should reprogram. It's dangerous to enter without lights on. Lights on? Yes. Hello. Let's check out Marty's automation as well. Welcome home, Marty. Hey, hey, hey. Dad's home. Lord of the manor. Hello, hello. King of the castle. Hello. You actually can have your house welcome you home like this, and it's really easy to set up using Alexa routines or smart things. Welcome home, Reed. Lord of the manor. King of the castle captain of the bridge. It's funny that the police scold Jennifer for not having her lights automatically turn on. Today, it's really easy to set up. You can use a door contact sensor, a motion sensor, or just automatically turn them on when it's getting dark. Jennifer also accidentally made the lights turn on by just saying lights on. Enter without lights on. Lights on? Yes. Because they didn't have those trigger words that we have which they can be annoying, those trigger words, but can you imagine if we didn't have them? All right, kids, it's time to clean up. Starting the cleanup. Wait, no, go back, stay at the charger. Go back to the charger. Changing TV back to the Chargers football game. Kidding me? Okay, I want channels eight, 18, 24, 63, 187, and the weather channel. I always thought this was pretty awesome as a kid. And right now in my house, I can control the TV with my voice, but I cannot open up six different channels at the same time, nor can my brain handle watching them all simultaneously. So if you have a Harmony Hub, you can turn on the TV and change the channels with Alexa or Google Assistant. And if you have a Chromecast, you can use Google Assistant to change the channels on something like YouTube TV. Hey Google, play ESPN on YouTube TV. Okay, playing ESPN from YouTube TV on Office TV. The McFly's have this really cool rollable TV shade that's not a projector screen. We don't really have this today. What we do have is an LG rollable TV, but it rolls upwards and not downwards. So I guess you could just flip it upside down to be one. Okay, not really. One other quick note is that McFly's TV displays art when they aren't being used. Art off. Samsung created the Frame TV, which displays art when it's not being used, and it looks so good in person. I think it would blow the minds of people back then if they could see it. This is one of my favorite things because it's subtle yet so accurate. I have a hard time keeping track. It's fruit. Fruit, please. Thank you. How many times a day do we ask our voice assistant something and they don't understand or don't get it right? Alexa, why aren't you right all the time? Hmm, I don't know that one. Also, they have a garden growing food in their kitchen. Seems ridiculous, but they actually have indoor Wi-Fi controlled gardens that we can eat from now. We might see more things like this at CES this year, so make sure to look out for our CES video coming up soon. This isn't something they talk about in the movie, but it is in the background. 
It's not clear what these little displays are showing, but it's likely that they're displaying info on the house. Nowadays, it's common to have screens on our walls. It might be smart light switches or tablets to display smart home dashboards. They also have this cooking machine with a screen that looks like it might assist them in cooking. If so, we have these all over the place with Echo Shows or Nest Hubs that can display recipes. Marty gets a video call that he answers with his voice. Hello, I'm in here, please. If you're using something like the Nest Hub Max, not only can you answer the call with your voice, but it can follow you around on the video call, way more advanced than they might have imagined back in the day. Obviously, this is just a joke unless your pizza is just a marshmallow in the microwave. The other joke is that we would still be sending faxes to each other in 2015. Good one, 1989. It's easy to take for granted all the things that we can do in a smart home these days, and I feel like sometimes we can be a little overly critical. But the people that made this movie really got it right when it came to the future smart home, so hats off to them. Can you think of any other movies or TV shows that feature smart home tech? If so, let me know down in the comments, and I'll feature them in a future video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Reed, where is the door handle? We talked about this. No more door handles. Use your thumb. It's like Back to the Future. And there's no doorknob. Press your thumb to the plate. Oh, this is getting out of control.